I'm going to get comments on this, but hey, it's all engagement. Um, I spent yesterday trying to convert our little media server um, from Windows to Linux for a couple of reasons, which are long and complicated. It's compatibility stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, Hi. I don't know if you I, can hear her. I, I, I cannot. I, I think that it could be argued that Linux could be considered a cause for legal defense of rage induced madness. It is, okay. it is so, it is. See, you're lucky, actually. You already kind of use a version, you use Unix. You don't know it because that's what's underneath Mac OS. You've got the inter interface that doesn't make you do it. No. It does it all like fucking that. for you. Love Linux that. has Linux has all the stuff that's underneath there, more or less, except you don't have the stuff on top. You're you're on your own. It's off in the <laughs> wilderness. So why would you use that? It's free. It can do stuff some ways that Windows can't. It's got some extra compatibility. It's it's really good on old hardware. Like if you have like a 10, 15 year old laptop, you put Linux on it, it'll run just fine. You can use, I mean, it's not going to be playing, you know, the latest video games, but it'll, you get support for stuff way after. So you keep old stuff useful a long time. But on the other hand, if you try to do stuff with it sometimes, no one's going to understand this, but sudo app get my balls. Techies will understand that. I'm, I'm, I just, I had, so yesterday I had issues and rage and like this, this will translate to anyone tech, technology or, 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 or not. All of us have something we are, we know we do really well. It's, it could be cooking. It can be auto repair. It could be woodworking. It, something we know we can do, right? Everybody has that. Everybody has uh, at least one thing. They know you can do. You can play instrument or something. And then you will come across a situation where suddenly what you're attempting to do, which should be relatively simple, for all manner of incredibly stupid reasons, aren't. And because it's something you can do well, what was it? It becomes a matter of you take it personal. You take that oh, yeah. personally. Yeah. And then it becomes a contest of wills between you and an, an you know, amorphous concept of skill. And you get into it and suddenly it's nine hours later. And it's dark outside. Each week. Catherine. Radio down our audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? I have got to get that fixed. I, that's that's on my list of getting things fixed. That's It's the wrong size. Hold on. Let's just, just sort of do this. There you go. There. People can read it a little bit better now. There you go. I've got so many things I have to fix the right way, but I haven't. Someday. Y'all, I don't care if you believe in astrology or not. Yeah, no, nobody, care. nobody cares. Yeah, nobody. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't have to. It's not legally required. It doesn't make you sound smart either, by the way. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> of course, this would end up here. Uh, we've got Tesla story, sort of. Um, so we've had all sorts of, of stories in the news. You've probably been following about the full self-drive, which is a lie, but they call it the full self-drive on the Teslas. Um, it really isn't. It's a bad idea to treat it like it is. Uh, but I don't think this person had really good um, decision-making qualities to begin with. Man who fell asleep while driving on US 70 charged with drug trafficking, multiple felonies. 
and he fell asleep while his Tesla was driving along U.S. Highway 70. He's been arrested and charged with drug trafficking. Friday at 4 p.m., Wilson Mills police that officers... That exactly were t- like the kind of douchebag that <laughs> got arrested for falling asleep in his Tesla with drugs. <laughs> exactly! Wilson Mills police officers told that the driver of a white Tesla heading west on US-70 appeared to be asleep. Officers were able to locate the Tesla and confirm the driver was indeed asleep, which was probably a lot of fun for them. They're like, the fuck do we do? Yeah, how do you pull him over? So what? Officers tried to stop the car. But it continued driving for about one mile. So here's something you should know. If you get behind the Tesla and you flash your lights and you do the woo, the Tesla don't care. Tesla doesn't understand police. You would think. You would I mean, think. It's, it's, it's fucking Elon, so I know. But you <laughs> would think. You would think. That if you were going to develop a mm-hmm. self-driving car. Yeah. You would program that in. Officers were able to position their police cars in front of the Tesla to engage its its sensors and get it to stop. So the AI. Did it work? Yeah, it did. The AI. Did it work or were the cops black? Oh. Oh. Because Teslas can't see black people. Yeah, that's true. The, Which the is AI, weird considering where Elon comes from. The AI can't recognize police lights, but it can recognize when you've got your fucking front bumper right the fuck in front of it. Right. That it that it understands. Doesn't understand authority, but it understands, oh, this bumper. After stopping the car and waking up the driver, officers had they had to wake up. I have to I love this. I know police have had to, you know, at a rest stop, somebody's sleeping, police will go and bother them. I know they've had to do that, but they probably never had to do that during a traffic stop to wake yeah. up the driver. Maybe someone else in the car, but they never had to go, sir, sir, could you wake up? Do you know why we just pulled you over? Like, I, I used to take naps in a in my car on a parking lot, in my car, in a parking lot on my lunch break at a terrible yeah. office job. Yeah. And once I did have a cop kind of tap on the window and be like, are you OK? Are you dead? And I'm like, no, I'm just taking a nap on my lunch break. And then he fucked off. But they probably never have to do that of with apartheid. A- That's the joke. That's the joke. Um, it, it probably never had to do that with a moving vehicle before. No, I love the okay. photo of the cops with the hall. Oh, yeah, they've got they, they are hat. The caps only do this. They're, they're like a cat that caught like a, a, a lizard in the yard. They're always like this. That um, should be, you know, how shopping influencers do YouTube hauls. Yeah, they should do this. If cops want good PR, they should start doing haul videos. They found several dozen boxes of, quote, vape pens that contain various legal substances. 200 grams worth of THC. 400 grams worth of methamphetamine and 400 grams of MDMA. And a partridge in a pear tree. Now, my question is, did he select one or was he doing them all at the same time when he passed the fuck out? Probably at least a couple. Like, was he? Did, probably did not, these probably guys, not the meth. Probably not the meth, but... Um, the driver, Michael Good, was arrested and charged with trafficking MDMA, Class D felony, trafficking methamphetamine, also Class D felony, possession with the intent to sell or deliver, deliver marijuana, Class H felony, felony possession of marijuana, reckless driving, and failure to heed emergency lights and sirens, both Class II misdemeanors. See, despite what they might say, oh, no, the car is driving. You are responsible for that shit. You can't you can't just say, no, it wasn't me. It was the car. They can't arrest a car. They can arrest you. So if the car doesn't understand, woo, 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 that's your fault. I mean, if you're real fucking lucky and it's Will Smith that pulls you over in your Tesla, maybe you got a case (laughs) that it's the robots. (laughs) But it's not. But but probably not. (sighs) Ah. Well, we have another one. Hey, it's it's amazing Luke isn't here tonight. 
Oh no, uh, we have poo. <laughs> How many Isn't times that, so, that poor man that now we just associate him with poop, that poor man, Luke, on behalf of the community, I am sorry that your name has become so synonymous with scat. That's not fair. You don't deserve that. You it's seem like not. a heck of a guy. I've never met you in person, but you seem lovely and your wife seems lovely and you don't your household as a whole doesn't deserve that. No. So he's not here for it. You are. I am. I am. How many how many times doing this has the term serial pooper too been many. A, too many. It shouldn't be in a le it shouldn't be part of the lexicon. And yet <laughs> and yet serial porch pooper strikes again. Ooh. Visiting Louisville home two more times. <sighs> Someone got it on their camera. Mm hmm. The now infamous pooch porch pooper pooch pooper. What? <laughs> the now infamous porch pooper has been targeting the same Louisville homeowner over the past week has struck again. The homeowner, who wishes to remain anonymous, told Waze News Tuesday that the porch pooper visited his home four times last week and two more times over the Labor Day weekend. According to the homeowner, the new visits were on September 1st and 2nd. The first time, the man pooped on his porch and quickly ran away. After the September 1st incident, the homeowner, you have to appreciate the, just, just the, the fucking, the salt. The homeowner put cat litter and loud sonic speakers out on his porch to scare the porch pooper away like he's a raccoon <laughs> like he's fucking feral because obviously I mean, he, he is be. yeah because he doesn't know to poop in the potty that's I basic take care of feral cats <clears throat> and they literally don't poop on my property feral no. cats they don't the poop raccoons in my, do. I check what, when I check my garden they don't poop in my garden no. they don't poop in my yard the, raccoons some poop. the homeowner says it appeared to work because during the second visit, the porch pooper was frightened and ran away. If you recognize the porch pooper, contact the Louisiana, uh, Louisville Municipal okay, Police Department wait. at 474-LMPD. Yes. This is very poorly written. Yes. Because the person who the person visited four times. Yes, six times. So six, six, six times. Six Total. times. So after which visit did the guy put out the cat litter? Like how the many first. times do you let someone poop on your porch? So the first. So then, what yes. did he do the next five times? Oh, there's. There, I had to find other articles about this. Um. So let me let me find another one. Because like, it, what's, it's the, a, what's the order? It's of a fucking here. saga. It's a goddamn saga in Louisville right now. This story is terribly reported. Ward Jolis, very bad job. Uh, let me see. Um, person has been allegedly pooping on the porch. Uh, there are at least two reports filed that the person lives. Another was taken out by Officer Wednesday. It's unknown at this time with the suspect. Well, we have that now. Um, Roderick Darrell lives across the street and saw it happen. Old Louisville, man, you're going to see some, you're going to see everything out here. I just happened to be outside and a white guy walked up. He looked around. He looked like he was going into the apartment. He looked at the window, looked out, <laughs> started crapping. It happened early mo Somebody Tuesday morning. Hit us with the, what is this white nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> um, like the, this has been all over the news in Louisville. Like, does the homeowner know this person? No, they don't. They do not know the guy. This is a complete stranger. He actually went up to the door one time to confront him, and he ran away. He also peed on the on the on the on the uh, the the uh, the the doormat as well. So he's just full on, just just full on. Yeah, my feral cats have never done that either. <sighs> They have protected repeat, yeah. my packages. Yes. It's just. 
there's a nest camera. There's like these things are not yeah. unless unless someone hides it and they're kind of I mean you have to take some effort to hide it. There's a fucking camera right there. Watching you poop it. And they're pretty standard at this point. My house came with one. I could see. I'm not saying I justify it, but I could see if someone was incredibly intoxicated and wandering the streets, I could see someone pooping on someone's front porch once, once. I'm not saying it'd be a good thing, but I'd say the chain of logic would follow. I would understand how we got from A to B, right? Six I don't times. Don't see roll of toilet paper in his hands. No, I don't. I don't. That's nasty. That's abso-fucking-lutely nasty. Unless you're going out and using a garden hose like a bidet. That's fucking nasty. Like, it... Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times you pooped on a stranger's porch while they filmed you. Or qua. Is this a really specific fetish? Like, I don't even know how you would face, you would stumble into that, but. This isn't how to tell them you like them. No, this is not. Yeah, this this. <sighs> when they catch this guy and they will, because they've got a really good shot of your face right there, bro. When they catch this guy, this is consider. I counted at least five outlets are reporting on this story out of Louisville, Kentucky. His name and face are going to be everywhere. The entire metropolitan area in which you live is now engrossed in more ways than one in the saga of you pooping on another person's porch. This is the rest of your life. Congratulations. And the, and the sad part is it's the homeowner who's embarrassed because the homeowner is like, no, I don't want my name in it. Don't put my name on the guy pooping on my porch. Don't involve me in this shit. Well, I'll tell you what, the exact same reason this guy's name is when they find his name, he is forever going to be in the annals of the Internet. The porch pooper. Or I could also see it being like because people are trash. Just, oh, let's all go poop on that house. Let's, all, yeah, let's make it a meme. a meme now. Let's make it a meme and go poop at this guy's house. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I hate the internet. I say from the internet. Anyway. This is why I work with cats. Because people okay, this... mostly disappointing. Let's go to North Pennsylvania now, unfortunately. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Some some dude in North Pennsylvania is like, hey, what'd you say? Fuck you, North guy. North Pennsylvania is not the scary part. No. It's below Philadelphia that's got the sea monsters on the map this part's a little stupid though man stole new car from lansdale library drives to police station to ask for drugs back a hatfield man is accused of stealing a new subaru forester from the lansdale public library driving park up uh, lansdale public library parking lot driving it to Hatfield Police Station to ask for his drugs back, then driving to Target with the intent of stealing from the store. Christopher well, that's a busy Jordan. day. Christopher Jordan Ganzel, 24, uh, was charged with uh, felony car theft by unlawful taking. That's that wonderful phrasing there, unlawful taking. <laughs> felony receiving stolen property and misdemeanor unauthorized use of a car. According to court records, five days prior to the land sale... Eh, Incident, uh, Lower Marion Township Police allege uh, Gansell committed simple trespassing and disorderly conduct by using obscene language. He was arraigned and released. I love how exact this article is about what the charges were. Wait, can you be charged with trespassing for swearing at the library? Maybe. Um, police responded to the library on a report you know? of auto theft. Uh, when the victim left a Subaru... Yeah, making a weird beeping noise, police said, according to the aff affidavit, when an owner of super loses a car running and leaves the vehicle, a noise is made as a reminder. So he he left his keys in the car. He didn't understand what the noise was. 
Anyway. And he left it running. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't like this guy had the, the skills to pay the bills. He just thought, oh, a running vehicle. I know what I I'll even, do. I don't even know if that should count as theft, if we're being honest. <laughs> I know what I do to just leave your car running in a parking lot. You get what you fucking get. Lansdale police received a call from Hatfield police stating Ganzo came to their station with the Subaru and asked for his drugs back before leaving because he'd already been arrested. And obviously they had taken drugs from him when he was arrested, but they didn't charge him with it. So. I guess he wanted to drive the point home. You didn't charge me with it, so can I have my drugs back? Which is not how no. that works. No, honey, no. They they don't. Once they take the drugs from you, the drugs are gone. Yeah. It's like, have you ever played? You've never played GTA? Like, once you get, let's say, let you go after you get busted, you lose all your shit, all your money, all your guns. all It's all gone. They keep that. Quite possibly those drugs are gone inside of a cop. Possibly, yeah. You never can tell. Moments later, police received an updated location that Gansel attempted a retail theft at Target in Montgomery Township before fleeing southbound in the Subaru. Police said surveillance images show Gansel driving the car. Victim told police his vehicle's value is 30K. I... I, I why? I really did you see I want to know what he tried to steal from Target. Drugs, probably. Because the cops were giving him his Target. They don't have the good drugs. No, not, not I'm on the Target shelf. All the fucking time. And if they have the not good drugs, the I would know. Maybe he tried to steal a clue. Like, you can't. I love how he just said, oh, a running vehicle. I know the cops have my drugs. Yeah. This is a perfect opportunity. Well, the cops won't give me my drugs. The cops will give me my drugs back. I guess I will go steal something for more drugs. Drugs can be purchased with, you know. You know what? Target does have the scented, the fall scented candles out. I bet he went for some of those. That's true. Yeah. It's almost as good as drugs. They got a pumpkin latte candle that's real good. <laughs> gonna hate me but that's like white girl bait <laughs> it's like you know have one of those cartoon boxes with the stick under it and just a candle underneath <laughs> like some bugs i am shit. a white girl i enjoy <laughs> pumpkin fucking everything <clears throat> so yeah fair but florida has an even better theft all right when I'm out in the world, I have encountered some weird ass shit every now and again. I remember once upon a time long ago on at uh, a convention, it was MAGFest in D.C. We were on an elevator and we looked down and there was this jug of this yellowish brackish liquid. And my first instinct was I'm leaving that the fuck alone. And everybody I was else for a was second there because you drank like <laughs> ancient Listerine once. So everybody else in the in the in the, the elevator with me, they were just like, we're leaving that alone. We all kind of moved away from it because we didn't know. And when we, we got out of the elevator, we just left it there. That's how some things you encounter in the world. That's how you treat it. You You avoid and move on with your day. These guys did. That's, like, that's and, a glitch in the Matrix. That is not my fucking problem. Yes, these guys, however, did not, and it was a poor choice. Florida deputy's gun sold for $40 after he left it in gas station bathroom. Well, you're fired. <laughs> Actually, no. It takes, it takes, I mean, about the only way to get fired is, is to rat on another cop. That's, that's probably what happens. But yeah. anyway. A Seminole County deputy's gun was taken from a racetrack restroom uh, after he left it there while accusing the facilities. Deputy stopped the convenience store to use the restroom and entered the accessible stall. He took off his gun oh, belt, fuck you. Put, <laughs> put it over the railing while he was on his cell phone. So that's already kind of, it's a little ratchet. 
The, like, did we do this one before? No, it just did happened we? again. It sounds really yeah. familiar. It like, sounds think, familiar, but no. no. This exact thing happened in a school. Yes, in a school. Yes. With the belt and everything. Yeah. When he finished, he put his gun belt back on, left the store to respond to a call, and eventually noticed his gun was missing. That's embarrassing. Damari Dennis and Chance Byron found the gun in the restroom. At some point, the gun was, quote, sticking out of a roll, toilet paper roll. What? Dennis, Dennis, a convicted felon, said he, quote, didn't want to touch it because he was on probation. Yeah. Surveillance video. Surveillance video shows Byron leaving the store, quote, with a noticeable bulge on the right side of his waist. Detectives say the two men sold the gun for, quote, $40 via a cash app. Both men face multiple charges, including grand theft of a firearm. Dennis also faces a charge of possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. Yeah, see, if you didn't want to touch it, Buddy, yeah. but your friend took it. And then you and it your friends, counts. so like, yeah, like just because you, didn't, you touch didn't physically put your hand yeah. on it, it still counts, babe. There, if you encounter a firearm while you $40 are out, is in the very world. cheap for a gun. Yes. Yeah. What's forty dollars, that's, that's and a, especially like the good guns that the cops use. Yeah. Forty dollars wouldn't sale. get you a box of ammo for them. I don't think. That's a, that's a fast sale, though. If you are out in the world and you come across a fucking firearm. Fuck no. Leave that there. It's not a I'm video game. I'm cashier know. You let the cashier. Yeah. Did you know there's a gun in the toilet? Thanks. It's not a video game. You haven't found a power up. You haven't found an upgrade. You don't get it's not yours. But also, I probably wouldn't find it because I, as a not disabled person, wouldn't be using the accessible toilet. All right. Yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. I just it. Unless it, all the other ones were clogged or something. Like we've had an entire generation of people who have trained that if you find a weapon when wandering around, that is intended to help you on your journey. That's not how that works. Yeah. That's that's not really how that works. That's that's a lie. It's it's not. Why in the entire it's not, it's not a freebie. It's not a yeah. It's not like oh yeah free. That's not how that works. Forty bucks. That's lowball in it, man. By so like, much, I know fuck all about guns, but Dan owns some firearms that I am currently working on selling, and let me tell you. Those motherfuckers aren't cheap. Mm -mm. He had some that were antiques, but he had a couple that were new and functional. And Jesus. Jesus, yes. Well, next up, we we have come to think, I guess TV has done this to us, except for House, maybe. We have come to think that doctors have their shit together. <laughs> no, we, we, we have we have well, we have this general impression, <laughs> pop culture at least, have this general impression generally that, that yeah. doctors big they're wearing a white coat, they know things, they have authority, they tell us shit. We've I mean, come to believe scoff. this. All of my doctors are excellent, but you know. However, then there's Florida. Doctor busted well, they, for I bizarre. I mean, they kind of banned science there. So what are the yeah. doctors supposed to do? Doctor busted for bizarre urine antics. Nope. Already. That, immediately no. Already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Internist 59. 59. Although he looks amazing for 59. Look at that. That is, that is some skin he care. I got to say. Like he's had. No, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You think? 20 year olds don't have cheeks that do nothing in this area. I've, I don't know. Like, I've seen that. This doesn't match that. Look at look at my face. OK, OK. I got the lines here. Right. They come with the lines here. Right. OK. They go together. Everything sags at once. 
Well, he's had he's amazing got the work lines done. here, but this is all flat. That doesn't happen. That's work. Meet Dr. Giovanni Baula. Baula? I think it's Baula. Yeah. 59-year-old intern has sold his Florida medical medical practice in 2022 to a fellow doctor. In recent months, Baula reportedly, quote, became upset over the business with the purchaser, Dr. Dylan Dinesh, uh, 32, who runs affiliated health clinic out of Baula's former office in St. Petersburg. Court's records do not reveal the nature of the business dispute. Investigators allege that Baula went to Dinesh's office on July 30th and soaked the front doors in, quote, gallons of fluid, which had the odor of urine. On August 17th, Baller allegedly returned the property again and unleashed a cascade of the rank smelling liquid. On both occasions, the cops say, Baller and his vehicle were recorded by surveillance cameras. Urine smelling liquid, quote, soaked into the front wooden door, caused irreparable, irreparable damage, placing the door cost $1,500, uh, which reports that the medical practice suffered 6,000 and other losses related to the urine attacks. Pictured above, Bala was arrested yesterday and charged with felony count of criminal mischief. According to state records, Bala's medical license, which expires in January, is active and lists his primary practice address as his $1.7 million waterfront home in Gulfport. There's a few options for where you get gallons of urine. Right. And none of them aren't upsetting. Yes. There are there are several methods. Because like your best like, case scenario is you're collecting your own urine for like right. weeks at a time. Right. Because that gallons is the, multiple. That is the best case. Because otherwise yeah, we have best to case. We have to start questioning whose urine is this? Right. Where Are have you, you like been keeping horses? it? It's do you have are you like paying people to piss in a bucket? What's going on here? Also. How was this going to work out long term? Yeah. What, what was the plan? Tell me the fucking plan. Step one, collect gallons of urine. Step two. Vandalize uh, my former office with the gallons of urine. Step three, what? Also, we don't what even know even what profit. Goal? That's right. What is step three? It's not profit. We don't know. What was? What were you trying to get? What was your? Did what was that? What did you want to happen here? What, what was the? What was the goal? Hi, baby. Valkyrie sitting just outside the office, staring at me with her big eyes. And did did you think you, you were a doctor? You have options in your life because you are a doctor. There's tons of shit you can and do. Yeah, like if that door was wood, that's a lost oh, cause. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. I've had cats almost my entire life and urine. Like if a cat pees on something, just throw it out. <laughs> you can wash it 400 times. Just throw it out. I I just. Why? it? It's not a. <sighs> bodily fluids are not a way to settle business disputes. <laughs> why did I have to say that? Why did you make me have to say that? I met, really I mean, I mostly get, concerned with where he got gallons of urine. Really? Yeah. I mean, I guess if you and someone else decide to fuck it out, bodily fluids could be involved there. If you want to resolve things by fucking it out. Okay, sure. But that's a rare instance. Usually it, when, it's never. And that's still not a great re resolution to a work dispute. No, no, it really is. I mean, we're not like bonobo chimps. We don't settle all our disputes with fucking. So that's not an issue for us. But urine is is also not a great it's it's never it's not an option. It's not a, it's not even a great not a great option. It's not an option at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wazer fishes nine out of ten doctors agree you should be doing this shit. We have found the like, one doctor who disagrees. At what point 
do you not find yourself pissing into a bucket for the 10th time in a, in a couple of days? I don't know how many times a day you guys pee. Mm, yeah. Whatever. But like, at what point do you not stop as you're pissing in your increasingly full bucket and think, am I fucking insane? Right. Have I lost the goddamn plot? Well, last one tonight. I remember you talking a while back about you were using like the OK Cupid back when it was actually a thing and stuff. Back in it's, the day, yeah, yeah. The, the dating thing it's it's not great. easy to it's not easy to meet people. We take we take risks. They they don't always work out. It's not easy to meet folks. I understand. This one, however, this is not a good strategy for meeting people at all. I don't, this is not going to work out long term. This is not, this is probably the stupidest idea of a meet cute I could think of. It's from Greece. Woman sets fires in Greece to watch firefighters and flirt. This is an Elvis Costello song. <laughs> Promise me after the bait, you're going to play watching the detectives. <laughs> in an unprecedented incident of arson in Tripoli, a city in the central part of the Pelop uh, Peloponnese, in uh, part of the Peloponnese in Greece, 44 year old Greek woman set fires because she, quote, enjoyed watching firefighters and flirting with them. 36 month prison sentence plus a thousand euro fine has been imposed on the 44 year old arsonist. The woman was arrested two days ago because she intentionally and repeatedly set fires. This resulted in two wildfires breaking out. Specifically, local police department said in a statement the woman was, quote, arrested today. It was added the woman is a Greek citizen who was responsible for causing two fires on farmland intentionally, intentionally and repeatedly in the area of uh, Karasita, municipality of Tripoli and Arcadia. According to... Uh, Greece's Sk S Sky TV network. It's not S K Y. Yeah. It's S K I E. Uh, S K I A I. I can spell. The woman set the fires because she hoped to flirt with the firefighters who would rush out to the flames. She wanted to meet a man in uniform. The fact the woman was present in both of the last two fires aroused the suspicions of the fire department. Honey. Sweetie, ma'am, miss, what the fuck? Now, listen, I get it. A lot of firemen are real good looking men. I bet firemen in Greece are real good looking men. It probably is. Yeah, There's that's way, like if you Greek firefighter, everywhere. Greek firefighter. That's like the chocolate and the peanut butter, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like one of those, those French things. cops from a few weeks ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I get it, but, you know, like maybe offer to host a bake sale for them. I don't know. Like, I don't know if Europe yeah. has volunteer fire departments like my hometown does, because even in America, not, you know, you have paid fire department volunteer. But like there's other things you could do. Right. You, you, you don't. Also, the fire department does other things, you know, like you could get stuck up a tree <laughs> I have to help you and nobody else gets hurt like it was actually the fire department that responded when I had to call 911 for Dan because they were right down the block I didn't flirt with any of them like it's like you can't set a couple fires and be like so you come here often I mean, lately, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I'm here all the time. I mean, it's 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 like okay. Oh, someone in jail said, "Oh God, can you imagine if she used actual Greek fire?" Oh shit. <laughs> no, I mean, just if if you are trying to get laid and you accidentally set the countryside ablaze, something's gone hideously wrong. Like, my mom married a firefighter just by going to church. 
<laughs> well, that's not I me. Mean, this is not I'm not, that's not going to work. You're going to need to go to church you after might. this. You might. You're going to apologize to Jesus after this shit. It's just there's got to be better ways. I mean, be you could at least before you start with the arson, you could at least try and climb a tree and pretend you can't get down. <laughs> or you can get stuck in a pipe. Cops will come. You get I mean, the firefighters yeah. will come if you get stuck in a pipe. Just get stuck Something, in a pipe. You know, just go find a pipe. Have get stuck in trouble. Pipe. Have car trouble outside the fire department. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Just blow a fucking tire right outside the fire department. They're going to come and help you, you. There you go. And Don't then you can make to... conversation and nobody gets burned alive. Like if if you if this had actually worked, what are you going to be like on your 10th anniversary? Honey, I've got something to confess. So how did you guys meet? <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Oh, God. This is sort of like if they got together, it'd be like Batman fucking the Joker. It's just this. <laughs> yeah. There's fanfic of that, obviously. And look, uh, I get it. Dating is like, I am not currently yeah. in the dating pool. I'm not interested in it at the moment. It's just, you know, I never say never, but at the moment it's not for me. But I get it. Like, dating is fucking hard. Mm. Like, in between husband one and husband two, I had some. It's it's a fucking zoo out there. I it understand is. it. Not arson really one is to, not the way not, to go. Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't help the situation. So, what did we learn this week? First thing we learned is is, is you can't arson your way into a relationship. That not or at least not a good one. At least not if you're not on a Brian Fuller TV show. Right, yeah. <laughs> We've learned that despite what you may believe, doctors can be really fucked up people. Seriously, seriously broken in the brain, throwing piss on somebody else's door, fucked up. We have learned that if you discover a gun... In your many travels, leave it the fuck alone. It is not there for you. It's not like Arthur with the sword and the stone. You found a gun in the toilet paper roll. Not the same thing. Why was it in the toilet paper roll? Guess what? You're the king of the racetrack. Congratulations. <laughs> you, you get some free corn nuts. You, you, you done great. <laughs> um, we have learned that. The cops do not give you back your drugs. If somehow, by some miracle, you are not in jail because of the drugs, those drugs are gone. Yeah. There's no, there's no return policy. You can't hand them a receipt. It's Those are over. We have learned that if you go to the same house for six nights and poop on the porch... You will become headline news in your municipality. That is you for the rest of your life forever. Yeah, because like Google is a thing, bro. You are that guy and everyone who knows you in the area. It'd be like, yeah, it used to be we had local commercials, which is something that they don't have like in, in, in England and other places. They have no idea what the fuck those are. We used to have like local commercials where where, where people would would um in businesses would make their own shitty little commercials with a video camera and put them on the local local networks. And you'd learn you someone you'd become like local famous. Everyone would know your ass. You'd be like, you'd be like, hey. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. And you, they know you forever. <laughs> this is like that, but the bad way. Because you, yeah. you, you, this is, this is with poop. Also, Jesus Christ, no toilet paper. What the fuck? And finally, we've learned. If you pass out in your fucking Tesla and it decides not to pass, pull over for the cops. Number one, that's on you. 
And number two, maybe don't drug traffic while you're asleep. <laughs> Baseline, just try to be awake when you traffic drugs. That's not too much to ask, is it? 